Hello, lovely people. I am Mark J. Aquaviva of the Aquaviva Method, the virosomatic approach to bodywork. And I'm here to let you know a little bit about what I mean by envirosomatic. Over my three decades of dedicated practice and teaching, I have come to the conclusion that the way we think about our bodies when we are practicing these things, and it's not exclusively yoga, any kind of body work, we, we tend to think of it in the West within the medical model, as in we look at the body with our minds and we look at it like a machine that needs uh, controlling, fixing, strengthening, changing. And that has, for me, that has always led to problems, physical problems. As long as I was imposing something from the mind on the body, the body usually complained. Um, the mind liked having some control, but the body didn't really like it. Conversely, when I immerse in the intelligence of the body, when I, when I put myself aside, when I, and it, it used to be when I was ill or tired or some, there was an injury or something, when there was something bigger than my ambition leading my actions and I listened to what my body was having to say, solutions started to arise. And it was this shift of perspective that started to give me a different approach to body work as a whole. The term envirosomatic, it's, it's evolved because it dawned on me, actually not so long ago, that a person's felt sense of themselves, their somatic experience, is a direct function of their reactions to, their, their feelings about the environment around them. It's pretty obvious. If you were living in a war zone, it would be quite natural for you to feel uh, defensive or hostile or fearful. And if you were to feel what was going on in your body, you would feel the symptoms of, those, of that relationship to your environment. So, you know, it's pretty obvious that we are a function of our environment to some degree. But the application of the, the, the term envirosomatic to bodywork means you are influencing your experience of your body by the way you respond to your environment, by the way you engage with it. You know, we are used to the idea that environment does stuff to us, but what about what we do to environment? And it takes me back to those moments of integration when I recognized a, a good thing in my body and I understood that what I was doing was engaging with my touch and space. The quality with which I'm engaging with my earth, my, my support, the, 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 the sort of thinking behind it, the intent behind it. So the, the, the quality of it. And the quality with which I'm engaging with space, you know, whether I'm retracting from it to hold myself up or whether I'm engaging with it in a celebratory fashion through the breath and its release, you know, the, the quality of my engagement with my environment leads directly to my somatic experience. And this is the foundation of my work. And, I, and in realizing this not so long ago, uh, the light went on and I decided to call my work Envirosomatic uh, Reintegration or the Envirosomatic Principle. Yeah? It's, it's uh, an umbrella approach to all body work. I, I don't only work with yoga people. I work with uh, Tai Chi practitioners, with massage therapists. Uh, I'll, I work with sports, um, jockeys, runners, athletes, um, whatever you like. It's an, it's an umbrella approach to all body work that brings integration, harmony, and simplicity to how the body is operating. And then the person gets to experience that for themselves in their own body. 
and the, and the the way I guide you to find the accuracy of the relationships that are required, the changes that are required within, is through how you engage with your environment. So the envirosomatic approach to body work. Okay, so I hope that's uh, made some sense of it, and I hope to see you on something soon. Much love to you all. Bye now.